So today we'll be taking a look at the private conversation that Bailey and AJ Lee had that was just revealed by Bailey. We'll also take a look at the massive fight and drama behind the Moment of Bliss segment. Before we get into it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new. So let's start things off with these big new reports coming out about the opening segment of Raw this week. We broke down the Moment of Bliss segment from a storyline point of view yesterday, but this segment is back in the news for what led up to the segment and the overall poor writing of the segment. Alexa Bliss and Bray Wyatt are no doubt some of Raw's biggest attractions. There's some fans out there that watch Raw just to see what's new with Alexa and Bray. That's how popular they are. So WWE announced that the Moment of Bliss segment was opening up Raw this week, and some fans were excited. That seemed like a good way to open up Raw with Alexa Bliss, one of Raw's biggest attractions. However, like we discussed even in the storyline breakdown, something about this entire segment just felt off and really weird. Especially the end was very weird and out of character for almost everyone involved in the segment. It was really some strange writing compared to what we've been seeing for Alexa and Bray. And there's a clear indication why it came off so poorly. Reports claim that Vince McMahon played a major role in the Moment of Bliss segment and it was done in his vision. Reports claim that this segment's direction caused a massive fight and argument to break out backstage between Vince McMahon, the WWE writers, and other WWE personalities. Apparently, the other individuals around Vince McMahon were informing him that the segment had to be changed and how it was a weak opener for Raw. It's reported that they argued with him back and forth, trying to change the direction of the segment because of how poor it was overall. But of course, Vince McMahon has the last say and there isn't anyone that's going to get in the way of his vision and what he wants. So Vince McMahon obviously won this backstage fight and argument and they went forward with the idea for the segment. Obviously, it seems like the other individuals were correct because Vince McMahon's version of the moment of bliss was met with a lot of mixed reactions from fans. It made Orton look weird. Alexa was weird. And of course, The Fiend was the one that was the most out of character here. It's crazy because The Undertaker was just talking about this just a few weeks ago. Undertaker talked about how The Fiend was the strongest character and how Bray Wyatt has to stand up to the writers when he feels like something they're planning would hurt The Fiend's overall character. But strangely enough, it seems like the other writers were aware of how poor this segment was and how it would hurt all of their characters. But if it's Vince McMahon you're going up against, then you're obviously wasting your breath. You're going to easily lose that battle. There's no correcting him or changing his idea. His word is final. So maybe Bray Wyatt just figured that there was no point in challenging Vince McMahon for this segment. Looking back at the segment now from a logical point of view and with context of these reports, it really did hurt all the characters involved. Randy Orton discovered that Alexa Bliss was the weakness. So why didn't he either take Alexa or do something with her? Why just hand her back so easily? That's where it made no sense for Orton. The Fiend, we talked about this before. It was a really weird moment for him that made him look basically human. We thought he was a straight up monster with no emotions, but uh, apparently not. It hurt Alexa Bliss too, because what was she doing just sitting in Randy Orton's arms like that? We just saw Alexa Bliss fully take out John Morrison all by herself just a few weeks ago. But now, the character just rolls up into a ball in Orton's arms? It made her look just as bad as The Fiend looked. At least Orton exits the segment knowing that he discovers the weakness. But The Fiend and Alexa Bliss left the segment looking so soft and weird. That was everyone's real take on this segment and now we know why. This wasn't the original writers behind this segment. This moment was created in Vince McMahon's vision and he wasn't listening to any suggestions or changes. This is quite scary and disturbing for Bray Wyatt and Alexa Bliss. They need Vince McMahon as far away from their storyline as possible because if he hangs around and continues to create segments for them, he's really going to set them back miles in terms of overall character development. Don't like how The Fiend and Alexa Bliss came out looking from that opening moment of Raw, you can understand why so many people fought Vince McMahon on that segment's direction. 
Hopefully Vince McMahon focuses his attention on something else and lets the original writers try to undo the massive character damage that he just caused from this segment. We'll see how that continues to play out and if there's any updates to that story. Bailey and AJ Lee are extremely close friends and have remained in contact with each other even after AJ's WWE departure. The Bailey recently revealed a personal story and private conversation with AJ Lee that she believes really helped her in her own career. Bailey had this to say about that story on the Feel the Power podcast. In that first month too, AJ Lee and Dolph Ziggler were on one of our shows. She pulled me aside and gave me this long talk about being myself, meeting the company halfway, and somewhere in the middle, you're going to find who you are and how it's going to work. So that's when I had the whole epiphany of letting me just be me, figure out the best that I can and wrestle. That was kind of how the transition went for me. It took a long while for me to feel comfortable with being there and not trying to put on a show. Now, when I look back, I just wish that I was me from the beginning because it took a long time. I don't know. I would just say it's been a long trial and error of me just being, just be yourself and you're going to be okay. If you're not, at least you had fun being you instead of being under pressure and feeling weird this whole time. So some pretty deep advice there from AJ that came back to help Bailey all these years later. During that private conversation that Bailey revealed, AJ was the vet and Bailey was literally just starting off and felt very uncomfortable about finding her way and her character. AJ's long talk came in handy to Bailey during Bailey's heel turn and for the majority of 2020, where Bailey stopped trying to force things and decided to just be herself through her character. And that really has worked for her. Some can argue that Bailey had the most success this year from a statistical point of view and from an overall character point of view as well. This natural, cocky heel, Bailey is very entertaining and more fun compared to who she was for the first few years of her character. So the character has come quite a long way, and it all relates back to that private conversation with AJ Lee. Usually, if you're not the women's champion, then you don't really have much going on storyline-wise, but thankfully, that's not the case for Bailey. Despite no longer being the champion, Bailey is still involved with the storyline. Bailey and Bianca Belair are kicking off a feud, which will be amazing for the both of them. Bailey obviously needs something to do now that she's no longer the champion. And Bianca Belair is finally getting the time and attention that she deserves as well. So with Bailey being her first big feud on the main roster, that's going to be really big for Bianca as well. As far as who comes out of this feud on top, I'll have to go with Bianca Belair. Picking up a few wins over Bailey will do a lot for Bianca and possibly even elevate her to the title scene. So that's one non-title feud to keep your eyes on over on SmackDown. But what are your thoughts on today's stories with the big backstage fight and argument with Vince McMahon, as well as Bailey's private conversation with AJ Lee? Leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.